scanning for audio. Welcome once again to a Tin Dog Podcast. Yes, I know it was only a couple of days since the last one, but I haven't been podcasting of late and I wanted to catch up. I've missed you after all, and it's the season of goodwill, isn't it? So this time I'm talking about the Sarah Jane Smith story, the third one, out of nine, Test of Nerve, and boy is it a corker. The time is eight o'clock. Here are this morning's headlines. A group of New Age travellers claim they were illegally evicted from a disused London underground station last night. Dear Miss Smith, you have 24 hours to find the truth. Otherwise, all of London will suffer the same fate as your friend. There's no signature, no address. Remember that news item about the scuffle outside the private lab? Yeah. There's more to Biogard than meets the eye. Police are releasing the man involved in a scuffle with a junior minister. James Michael Carver, a former soldier and veterans rights campaigner, will face no charges over the incident. I could be jailed for what I'm about to tell you, Sarah. You're right, something is up. London's intelligence community is on high alert. Someone is threatening to kill thousands, even millions, to get at you. Sarah Jane Smith. D.R. Morrison. You'll have to accompany me to the station, Miss Smith, to answer some questions. Of course, I can give you a full statement. You misunderstand. We got a phone call saying you killed this young woman. We're taking you in on suspicion of murder. Why are you doing this? Revenge for my employers. And who are they? (laughs) Now, that would be telling. Me, I just like doing the dirty work. Miss Smith, I'm James Carver. You must help me. It's got a definite end-of-season feel, which is odd because there are five stories in the first set. Again, we're still playing the Sarah Jane Smith slightly alternate world thing. She's the central character, but she's not the Doctor by any stretch of the imagination. We have the darker Sarah Jane Smith, something I'm beginning to come to terms with and love. I'm sad that there's only nine of them, but I still have six left, and I'm very, very happy about that. Again, I don't want to turn this into some sort of infomercial, but they are all available to buy all nine of them in one easy purchase for £25 from Big Finish, and I'm absolutely loving them. They are gritty and dark, like early Big Finish was. It's Liz Sladen, of course, so you're getting a great thing, but what's this story about at its core? Well, you've got what used to be the standard in Doctor Who, the info dump. This story opens like so many of these stories do, with the news. You kind of get used to it after a while. It's a nice shorthand way of getting information across without interfering with the plot too much. You're presented, rather neatly, with the two interwoven storylines, which all, of course, are there to disguise the main storyline, the vendetta against Sarah Jane Smith. The sort of stupid thing that the British do, have a chemical weapons research facility in the centre of London and people go oh, it's not very likely but can I just point out that in the middle of Newcastle there's a place called the Centre for Life and it's the only place in the entirety of Europe that's allowed to experiment on the human genome that's in the centre of town basically in the centre of the city you've got the Umbrella Corporation tinkering away with human mutants or oh, is that just me overreacting Leave it there, shall we? Crashing on, back to the actual review. It's great. It's a really fast-paced story. It reminds me of 24. It reminds me of all of those nice, dark thrillers. Sarah Jane is pushed. She pushes her friends and she uses them. She is damaged by her time with the Doctor and it's showing more and more as these stories go on. I'm really impressed by where this is going. Sadie Millett pulls in a fantastic performance. If she isn't used in New Doctor Who in some form, get her out of the call centre she's working in at the minute. Give her a job. She's a very fine actress. And this was nearly ten years ago. She's very, very good. To be honest, there isn't a bad performance here anywhere. I can't really tell you what's going on, but at the very end, you will find out who's behind this. 
and with a wry smile, classic fans of Doctor Who will go, Oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Trust me, it does. I'm looking forward on many levels to finding out where this goes. So it's part of the larger story arc, but it's also a great little thriller in itself. And that's what this has become. So yes, there is not as much sci-fi as I'd like, but I'm definitely up for the ride. So until next time, be seeing you. You have been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast. Doctor Who and its associated shows are all trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. Contact us at tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk